so we just got off the bus here from Bogota. We've been gone for, it took us about two hours, I think, to get here, or maybe an hour and a half. And we're in a small town next to a lake called Guatavita. It's all white. Um, I can tell Stella, who's my landlady, she's taking me around. I can tell she's a bit uncomfortable with me talking to my phone. Uh, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, I'll turn it on soon. So it turns out we have to wait for a whole hour to actually catch the bus to go to the, the, the lake. But right down here, what you can see is an electricity dam, hydroelectricity, and then there's a mini bullfighting ring. I'm not sure if they actually use it for that purpose or not. Anyways, this is the town of Guatavita, and I'll be at the lake soon. We've got our little doggy friends. They came at us acting, you know, really angry. But now they're being cute, and they're being friendly. Here's the, another view of the dam. Still waiting for the bus to leave here. And a little house. This is kind of what a, maybe a cheaper Colombian house would look like. Okay, here we are at the trail to the lake. Um, some people had to turn around because they didn't know that we were gonna end up hiking, they say a hundred meters of altitude. I find that hard to believe. Or maybe I misunderstood their Spanish. Maybe it's just a hundred meter walk. Anyways, here's the environment. Lots of vines. It looks way more jungly than it should at 3,100 meters. I think that's almost, that's probably above 10,000 feet. We're right around there. Uh, I'll see you soon. So I'm not sure how well you can see it, but we're in the, well, you get a nice view of the countryside here. And there's quite a few little fincas or farms that you can see. Okay, here's a view of the lake that we've been walking to. You can see the flowers here. Apparently this is, there was once a lot of gold to be found in this area because they use the gold in the uh, indigenous traditions. So I'm just gonna do a spin, go over top of people's heads. This is the countryside in the back. And then, you can see more. I'm just gonna avoid these people. There you go. There's the tourist map. It says it's 25 meters deep on average. Oh, here's another nice view. Okay, time to walk to the next viewpoint. A little bit higher up. Countryside, more countryside. So apparently some of the, the plants here can only exist at this higher altitude, or at least they're indicative of the higher altitude. Let's see if we can find one of those. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. There's the zoom. You see those? Those only exist at high altitude. Some kind of, I don't know, what, what do you think this is? It must, it must transform into a flower, right? I think I'm about to hit another nice view of the lake here. There we go. Another, uh, it's a quote. I'm not sure if I believe the quote. I think they make those things up. So 
So if you do decide to do this tour, it takes about, get the bus about two hours to Guatavita. And then once you get to the town from, from, from Chapinero in Bogota, once you get to Guatavita, you have to take another bus, which takes about an hour. And we waited in Guatavita for, for an hour for the bus there. And you do go with a group. I've sort of like, intentionally fallen behind my group, but... And they, don't, they do the tour in Spanish. I think there might be a, an English version, but... Hola, que tal? Okay, now we're heading to the exit. We've gotten away from all the crowds here. About to pass up on some kind of house. I think this is the Muisca. Como se dice? Muisca? Muisca. Casa de Muisca. Yo creo. I think, yeah. So house, ha the Muisca house.